is time to head off to Paramit 2024. There we go. Stopped at Membry Services, but I think I'm on the wrong side of the motorway. It's a ghost, oh, he's filming. <laughs> wow, can't believe I had that reaction. And there's no Bible in my drawer? So, Mark and Rich are off for their past life regression. What they used to be in their old lives, please. <laughs> Just in my pocket. Dug up in an abandoned house in Transylvania. Just come back from the quiz. We did not win, but we didn't come last. Hello, hello. <laughs> Mark is sort of drunk. Well, you're mumbling my food! I'm cutting it off. Oh, yes, hello. Morning, people. Morning, Rich. Morning, mate. How's your sleep? I was alright when you weren't snoring. Emma and Jane. Very impressed. I love I loved the Stonehenge stuff. Zim Zim and Mark's going for din dinner. Look at him. like you see nearly six o'clock it is time to head off to paramit 2024 yes i am on the way for an awesome weekend i'm meeting up with mark and rich west london paranormal meeting for breakfast before we head to the hotel for two days of brilliant guests speakers stalls everything about the paranormal i'm even doing a past life regression tomorrow. <sighs> Should be awesome. Never done it before. Bit scared. Bit scared. It's all packed, ready to go. Let's do it. So I'm going to arrive at the services at 7:36, and that's a good time because that's when the boys should be getting there. Oh dear. Right. So guys, you're going to come join me on this paranormal weekend. I hope so. Hopefully be good. Nice little vlog video. Little travel update for you. Rich is on his way to pick Mark up. I can't wait. I'm so hungry, man. My belly is going. I hate it when you eat too much the night before and you wake up and say, oh. So, I've stopped at Memory Services, but I think I'm on the wrong side of the motorway. The boys are over that side. Fuck's sake. Yeah, they're clearly not in here. Clearly not here. Oh, that's a fucking ball ache. I thought that might happen. Oh, so I should have just gone straight there. Fucking bollocks, man. I'm fucking pissed off now. So we're going with round two of memory services. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, sorry. They probably started breakfast without me, fucked them up. Fucking bollocks. Fucking bollocks, that's what this is. Fucking boolash. Fucking shit nipple fuckers. Sorry, I am very pissed off. As you can probably tell. See, I can see them, they're eating food. The bastards. Fucking eating without me. 
You've been ages. Where the fuck have you been? There's a crow. Yeah. Fucking pissed off, man. I don't ever fall off that now when it's a first I'm fucking well annoyed. I was gonna fucking drive home. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah? <laughs> Mine looks like coronation chicken, you twat. Sorry, how much did you pay towards this anyway? Well, I haven't paid anything yet. Well, you're it. mauling my food! I'm going to cut it in half. You didn't even wash your hands when you went for a piss. Have you got a knife? Oh, my fuck. <laughs> it's just in my pocket. You've mauled it, you might as well just break the... F no, I'm right. joking, Mark. <laughs> Don't break bread with me at the table. Oh, that's like Jesus I'll stuff, I'll break your nose at the table, let alone break bread. <laughs> mm. Let's have a bit of the body of Christ. Because the blood will flow. <laughs> ask the ask the lady if she if they can cut. Oh, it. just get a bit of. They've got they've got knives and forks normally. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna break bread with you. This is oh my death. god! Oh my god! Oh, the oh my god! <laughs> Why would I even want to eat that now? Because <laughs> it tastes nice. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my, oh my god. Oh my it's, god! It's Wash it down with this really cool hot coffee! <laughs> Can I fucking take the film with that? I swear, yeah, you're on candy camera! That's okay! That's <laughs> fair! It's Mickey's video! Mm -hmm. Oh, I can taste a lovely bit of your left pinky! <laughs> I didn't wash my hands out, yeah? You were... No, you don't wash your hands anytime! Oh, look, a little chubbus nutters! <laughs> Now you've got to ask yourself, was it worth getting salmonella? And yeah. It is. <laughs> that is a tasty uh, five, mm. five cheese toasty. It's five cheese mm. and finger smeg. <laughs> oh, the joys. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> did you say <laughs> 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 oh dear. It says 48 minutes. Yeah, I thought that was alright. You can't put a quiz. Have you made it into a meme? Oh, no. <laughs> That's fucking funny. To be fair, I actually look quite good there. That's funny. Don't put quiz on it. That will really picture. No, fuck off. <laughs> I'm not having it! I'm not having it! song for him! <laughs> you actually can't put that on TikTok. No, no it was there. <laughs> oh my god. We are off and ready to go. One hour later. So I'm coming into the area now, it should be up here on the right. I hope I put the right the right dress in this time. We're going in there. Oh. Is it in here? Oh yes, hello. Vintage suite and car parking. That way. Very nice. Actually, I want to park in the other car park. Because why not? Am I allowed to park out the front? Let's go park out the front. I'm going to park out the front. Because we are staying somewhere. I don't know where we're staying. The, vine the vineyard. Is there space to park out here? Looks that way. No parking, no parking, no parking. Can you just park here? Disabled, are they? Yes. There we go. It's a nice place. So we've arrived finally at this location. Hello. Has anyone seen Mickey anywhere? No, I've gone. <laughs> There's nowhere to park. Well, you parked, didn't you? Yeah, I came in here and saw this space. I thought, oh, fuck it, I'll go in the front. You should have parked in here. You've got to 
Good morning. We don't have time cooking yet, but we just let you know that we've arrived for our room later and everything's good for it. Yeah, so can we just three, it? it's three o'clock for checking. Yeah, no problem. Okay, okay. Names. Uh, one's Rich Austin, yeah. twin room, yeah. and the other one's Mickey or single, or double, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah? all good. Yeah. Thank you, mate. So uh, for the meat, just turn it Yeah, we've seen it. Thank you. Where's the toilets around here? Just uh, through the archway down the steps. Thank you. This one with the names. Mark, can you take a photo of this, please? So we can have. So we do oh, yeah, video. I like that. Oh. I like that nail one. The nail one is fantastic. Oh. So the first talk is done by Emma Heard. Very good, very informative about Stonehenge, Avery Stones, etc. Got my t shirt from the event, Neil's book. And I've also just bought this painting because that is cool. I do think I'm going to spend a lot this weekend. <sighs> Naughty. So we've got Jane Browley next. Uh, Jane is the person that gave me the information about that demon that's attached to me in my house so it should be good two hours later so what do you think of the first two talks yeah very emma, emma and jane very impressed i love the, i love the stonehenge stuff because i love wiltshire and it, yeah, as she good. says it is one of the best counties in the uk amazing and um jane has very in-depth knowledge of all the the different creatures and stuff and i like the way she presents herself yeah i quite like the drawings that yeah, she does of all the brilliant. the spirits and the attachments and brilliant drawings. everything so but yes lunch time we're on the on the coke marks on air <laughs> he's licking air so we're just chilling now we've got barry and neil this afternoon <laughs> A quiz, a Q&A, all that other shizzle. So it should be good. Oh, Mickey, this is a wicked room. Is this where we're staying, then? Yes, mate. Oh, can I Fuck off. <laughs> uh, have you got two cards? No. So it doesn't matter. Oh, what oh. are you in? 20, there you go. I'll just try it at the end. Oh, do you, yeah, you want that? Oh, yeah, right. so it's right at the end. I'll be even about half. Oh, Mickey, look! Let's go have a wank. We've got a double shower. We can both get in it. Fuck off. It's my video. What's that? The mouse. Oh, you can shut the door. What bed do you want? <sighs> this one. Sure. Why? Do you like this one? Would oh, you like this one? I wonder if, who, where would you like to be next to the window or the door, sir? Hey, look in this window. <sighs> Fucking ground floor. Shut <laughs> up, jerk. Oh, I'll, I'll go this one then. Sure. Yeah, I'll go this one. Yeah, I'll climb out of bed. <laughs> Fuck into the wall to go to the toilet. <laughs> you wake up. You <laughs> you see me in there rocking <laughs> out, out the window. Oh my god, you have a wee there. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. I can't be asked. Oh my god. I'll just be like this. <laughs> oh god. I see. I don't need them. Oh, you do need them probably. So I've got earphones, so. I don't need them. Oh, you never know. Later. Shush. Oh, we can go to B&M and buy some shit we don't need. Oh, <laughs> she's down there. Must be, because it ain't here. TK Maxx, pure I can smell the chicken. Mm. Chicken? Oh, Fucking. Looking good. Mm. Mm. Oh, cost us here. Back up, please. Why? Because they can't. Up There's a din dins. Din din. Zim zimmer. Zim zimmer Mark's going for din dinner. <laughs> Mark had six minutes to go. <laughs> he, he had a car for him. 100% he went in his bedroom. He had a car He had a turnout whilst eating a baguette. <laughs> Drippy chocolate. <laughs> and then he did. Well, I thought it was random. It was actually nowhere. I'm going to. Oh, we're eating in, yeah? I'm going to order yeah. then. I'm going to have a waste. Have you shit yourself? <laughs> oh my god, have you shit your pants? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Always happy.
happens you in my it? videos. <laughs> did, did you shut the window? That's no, not me, by the way. It's a film. You uh. dirty. Let's go. Hello, Miss. Hello, Mary Pip. Let's go. Hot the ghost. How about the Arsenal, in it? Yes. Oh, okay. That's right. Actually, let's just see how what the football scores are. Oh, yeah, I don't talk about that. Let's, let's see if Luton beat City. Yeah. What, was the, what was the time on the 4 0 for Tottenham? Uh, Main City 1 5 1. That's not why I asked. A few inches later. Hello, reception. It's room 23. Um, I'm just wondering, I've just been looking and there's no Bible in my drawer. Oh, alright, okay. What's the reason for that? Okay, no worries. No, it's alright. I'll, I'll use the phone. Okay, thank you. Thanks, cheers, bye bye, thank you. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> we, we haven't actually um, had Bibles in the drawers since I've been working here and I've been here eight years. Oh. <laughs> you laugh if you come back later, there's a fucking Bible in your bed. <laughs> That'd be funny. Later. I'll kick him in the head. Yeah. So we just come back from the quiz. We did not win, but we didn't come last. That is all I'm saying. So Rich has been baking, baking some dough and some bread. So he's just cooking the bread at the moment. And uh, Mark is sort of drunk. I think he's sobered up a bit. He's mashed out his head. Yeah, he had about six Red Bulls today. So I'm surprised he's still alive and not dead. And then two pints of Guinness. So yeah, <laughs> bless him. And he's gonna get up nice and early to go and have some brekkie. I hope they do fry up. Yeah. Is it a full fry up, yeah? Tomorrow. Morning, people. Morning, Rich. Morning, mate. How's your sleep? Oh, it was all right when you weren't snoring. <laughs> See, Rich snores as well, but he's very loud, but it only lasts like five seconds and he, he wakes himself up a little bit and he moves. So every time I try and film him, it's finished. <laughs> Because it's like, <laughs> oh my god, <coughs> and then it's like shit, too late. That's Wait, the way to be though. Isn't yeah, it? it's that's, that's why I don't mind because you you do like re go, oh. you reset yourself. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you don't. Uh, yeah. <sighs> I don't care. You wanted to sleep in there with me, so no, I did. I was like, oh, no, 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 I didn't want to sleep with you. I said sleep in near here with me. I said. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, I wouldn't have got any sleep at all if I was in the room with Mark. No. I don't know how Mark is. I don't know if he's awake. You can actually hear him from up here. <laughs> he's four rooms away. <laughs> yeah, he's four rooms away at the end of the hall. Yeah. Even every, even the hotel receptionist made him have the room at the end of the hall. <laughs> <laughs> she knows. She oh, knows. knows. <laughs> oh, it's quarter past seven. Yeah. My alarm's going off in 15 minutes. I shall not. Get ready. Go for breakfast. 8 o'clock breakfast. It's full English, isn't it? Full English. <sighs> and then you're going to get hypnotised and turn into a chicken. At 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock, yeah. Yeah. Turn into a chicken? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One hour later. Such a child. <sighs> nice fresh morning. Day two. Okay, I like it. So we've just had breakfast. Nice fry up, toast, marmalade, croissants, 
uh, other little pastries, custard pastries. Amazing, very, very nice. Orange juice, apple juice, tea, coffee. But we've just had word from Neil that Richard Felix isn't coming today. Obviously the most haunted historian. His talks are amazing, he knows so much. And he's not gonna be here now. He's having car trouble. That is uh, not good. Mark and Rich have their past life regression very soon, in about an hour. So, see how that turns out. And I've got mine at half past three. So that should be good. See what happens with that. Hopefully they bring the right Mickey back. <laughs> I don't want 1830s Mickey. Old war plane up there. our room he's asleep he's asleep hello 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 gardener I am a gardener <laughs> So you know what I did? It's quick. Yeah. Uh, when I left here, I went and knocked on Mark's door. Right, listen, listen. Right, you can't. Oh. Yeah. Hello. 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 Turn it around. Yes, they did. They went knock, 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 the door quick. There was no one there. Fuck off. <laughs> Unless it was Mickey when he went out. I would have heard him run past. Yeah, it was. Yeah. A few inches later. Right, so Mark and Rich have gone off for their past life regressions. I will see them in a couple of hours. It is 9.58. And I'm just going to do a little necrophonic session in this room before I leave and then head off for the first talk of the day. Because no. apparently this, this building is haunted, that's why the location was chosen. Dad. Dad, hello. Always dad. Morning, yeah. Did you work in this building? <laughs> do it, you do it. <laughs> what year were you here? Do you watch people in their rooms? Yes, you do. That's a bit creepy. So Mark and Rich are off for their past life regression. Can you tell me their old profession? What they used to be in their old lives, please? Who was I in a past life? You don't know. 
Can you tell me one thing you want me to know? I can see you. Thank you. Is the creature here that follows me around? Here. Oh my God, Tom. I think his name's Tom. Tom, are you here with me then? Run. I don't want to run. All right, we're going to finish now. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Goodbye. No bye then. It was worth a try. Got some quite precise answers there. Very impressed with that. Right, I need to get ready and head down to the main area. Ready for the first talk. I'll see you in a bit. Two hours later. Yeah, it's really good. Let's just say I'm a bit of a brute. Yeah. Mark and the barber shop. Yeah. <laughs> That's ironic. Yeah, he had the funniest part yet. He goes, um, I own a barber shop. Paul goes, all right, what year is it? He went, 1100. I'm like, I don't know. that's just when the Tower of London was built. Yeah, no shops till the 1800s, 700 years too early. Mine was my house. But no houses in them, fam. It was. No, they were Huts in a field. Huts in a field. That was medieval England. Well, I don't know what it was. But there were barbers still. Obviously, yeah, everyone yeah, had people haircuts had to have haircuts and stuff haircuts like that. Somehow, yeah. yeah, it was funny. Yeah, oh, Some of the things that you, had used, one before that. you spew out, it's funny. It was weird. I was like a... Abandoned, I had no parents. Stand. <laughs> he was not going to perfect going to fuck her away. Uh, yeah, uh, it was brilliant. It, I mean, something else. You, the experience you had. Like I was hunting. I could see it all in front of me. It was just weird. Did it take long to go on, though? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Ten, ten, I think you took longer than I did. I'm going to use it in my video that I'm making this weekend. <laughs> Don't put the whole shop 1100. Don't put that. No, what I do is I do that, then I'll film you going like that. I was like, I'm sleeping there, I'm like, the midst of it. Because you're sitting, you're sitting there, and I'm listening to him, hypnotising him, and I'm like this on the bed. <laughs> Rich, Rich, come round, come back to us. <laughs> Rich, <laughs> Rich. <laughs> <laughs> um, I said, you just sleep there, like, oh, yeah. I was behind him. I went like that. I was gone. Yeah, that Kev Kerr, he did stuff about um, how the body reacts to paranormal experiences. Really good, actually. Really good? Yeah, yeah, he's been doing it for many, many years. Yeah, 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 Never, yeah. Yeah. And uh, obviously, Kirin was talking about Jamaica and how it started and all that, so very good. Um, yeah, I like Kirin. 12 seconds later. And it's a man. You remember the panorama program, Mickey? The man standing like this, naked in the. The yeah. circle thing, the yeah, yeah. panorama. Yeah. Um, with his ball bag hanging out. Yeah. Anyway, there's one there, and he's called the Long Man of Wilmington. Oh. And what they are is they're the, like you get the southern downs, don't you? Yeah, there you go. That's a good zoom, isn't it? Yeah, that. Yeah. He's carved deep in, in the chalk, into the chalk. Mm. So that's over there. The White Horse Trowbridge. Trowbridge, yeah. Tra I can't even see it. Oh, yeah, <laughs> So it's now lunchtime. We we had a replacement for Richard Felix, Liz Cornell. She did the talk on, on imps, fairies, leprechauns, piskies, pixies, all that sort of thing, house elves, um, the elves that helped Santa Claus. Things like that, it's really interesting. Didn't really know anything about it before. What have you got? Oh, well, that's cool. You zoomed in your zoom? Yeah. Yeah. No, that was zoomed in. Oh, no, the first time? Zoomed, yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, so one, 141. So, Paul Goddard, who does the past life regression, is the next one to speak and that will be at quarter past two, I believe. And then after that, it's my turn 
to go and have my past life regression. I'm looking forward to it, it should be good. I wonder what I was. So I also bought an item from Neil Story's stall. It is hundreds of years old. It is a small cross that was dug up in an abandoned house in Transylvania. Now, this is awesome. I put it on top of the covers, you can see it. See, there would have been an engraving on it. But yeah, this is hundreds and hundreds of years old. And it has the possibility to be used as a trigger object. And the fact it's from Transylvania fascinates me. So that's awesome. Obviously, Neil Story does books on Dracula, uh, things like that from back in the day. Vlad Depeche, all that. So, hmm, interesting. I'll be using this in the future. It's very white, bright. There's three doors, mm -hmm. one on each side and one at the end. Very good. And out of those three doors, which one are you most drawn to to go through to experience life you have before this one? The left one. Okay, so just allow yourself to go down to the door on the left. Dark. Okay. Allow yourself just to go into that darkness now. I'm walking around. Mm -hmm. What can you sense or see in this big space? It's cold. Okay. I can't see anybody. Okay. It's like cloudy. Like a, like a mist walking through a field. Good. Describe the fields, please. The, um, there's fields either side, lots of plants. I'm walking on a dusty brown track like a path. It looks like brown like leg guards from the knee down. Brown shoes on with, with straps on the bottom and over the, the feet. How old are you? 35. Good. The next count of three. They call you in this life. One, two, three. Reuben. Reuben. Very good. And now being aware of being there and what you're seeing. Now the year of whatever year it is comes to you now. One, two, three. Year comes to you. One more year is it? Thirteen, ten. Thirteen. Italy. Italy. Good. 
It's a wooden hut with straw inside for floor on bed. It's an old fire with metal for, for cooking boiling water. A working field. That's good. Cutting crops with a a large sharp like a scythe. So then and then collecting the, the crops. It's my field. That's good. I'm walking home. Okay. How far do you feel you have to walk home? Two miles. Two miles, okay. I want you to be aware of your mum and your dad. Mm. And first of all, one of them, their face comes clearer to you. Just describe to me. Black hair in a like a, a bun on the side. What are their names? Josephine. Mm-hmm. Anthony. Anthony. Very good. I'm there with my my brothers and sisters. That's nice. And we're collecting them to take home. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Two brothers, two sisters. Very nice. Two sisters. Tell me now. Blonde hair, mm-hmm. Kathleen. She's not very tall. Mm-hmm. She's got a, a dress on, and she likes to be happy and run around. I found a nice lady. She works on the land. Right now, when you met this nice lady, tell me about that now. What happened? She was with cows. I'm sure it's cows. in her hair. Her name is Rosa. Lovely name. Yeah. They were gone. It's all gone. There's Um, nothing left. I'm sorry to hear that. What are you going to do? I'm looking for my family. How come you're looking for your family? They're not there. No. It's, everything's gone. What are you aware of now? You say everything's gone. What are you aware of now? Everything's dark. Okay. Very. There's no more sunshine. Grey fields, there's no colour. It's all gone. Battle uniform on. I'm very angry. Not surprised, but do tell me why you're feeling angry now. Because 
have lost everything. Do you know what happened to your family? Someone took them. People on horses with, with metal helmets. People are screaming in the village. There's lots of blood. I've got a sword mm -hmm. and I'm fighting people. They must be the ones that erased my family. Do you know who you're, who you're fighting now? I don't know who they are. Okay. It's cold. It's raining. There's lots of people on horses. With swords and shields. They're fighting. Now in your early forties, what are you aware of now? I'm laying in a f on the floor. What's happening now? I can't move. Do you know what's happened to you? I'm in pain. Sorry to hear that. Nobody, no one's coming. Shouting out, but there's nobody there. Do you know why these men were after you? Asking too many questions. Who was? I was. Okay. What questions were you asking? Why they killed my family. My next count to three and click my fingers, it'll be your very last ten seconds. And as I count backwards from ten to zero, zero will be your moment of passing. If you see or sense anything, feel free to interrupt and let me know. One, two, three, ten seconds, nine, eight, seven, six. It's gone. Pain has gone. Three, two, one, zero. You've just passed over. If I can get you to look back over the life that you've had as Reuben, is there any understanding or message coming from your higher self of what the lesson was or any learnings that you feel that's coming from your subconscious mind, your higher self now? And if there is so, just let me know what that message is. To protect my family. Mm -hmm. <sighs> you can do. Now, everything is okay now. Just go to that corridor you started the journey in. One, two, three. You're fine now. You'll find that corridor. Do you want some healing from this experience? Right there, you can just relax and just allow yourself to go to a happy memory now. You're okay, you're okay. Related to anything, or is it just purely from the experience of what you, you had just just then? So I know what the right thing to do is. I don't know. I was fine, but when I was floating mm. after the passing, mm. and I think it was when you said about um, lessons to learn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Do you want some healing for that now, which I will do. Do you want to close your eyes? Yeah. 
So what I like you to do now is just to take some nice deep breaths. Three eyes open, alert, and ready for the rest of your afternoon. How are you doing now? Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Sorry I did that to you. That's all right. <laughs> wow. Yeah, well I hope apart from that bit you enjoyed the experience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's amazing. Okay. Yeah, it's not what I thought it would be. No, mm. yeah. Yeah, and I'll, I can check in with you as well as you had what's called a NAB reaction. Um, I can check in with you in a couple of days' time just to make sure you're okay, okay for the experience as well. <laughs> yeah. uh, good. Is there anything else you want to do or discuss before I bring the session to a close? No, no. Um, is that does that happen? Is that a normal thing, or is it just occasionally it happens? But it's just sort of dealing with it rather than just going. All right, we're bringing it to a close now. Oh, just okay. making sure everything's okay. It happens. Uh, it can happen at the most unexpected times as well, you know, so, mm. and I've known people who are like just the most unemotional people yeah. in the world and they'll just go at one point, just saying it happens. You've you know? tapped into it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Well, that's all right. And I yeah, <laughs> hope the healing helped as well. Yeah, yeah, it did. Excellent. Wow. Wow, I can't believe I had that reaction. Is it embarrassing? Is it true to life? Is it emotion from my time? <sighs> very weird, very, very strange, creepy. It's not what I expected. I expected to be in darkness and then I look through a window and I see my, my past life but this was different, it was, I was living it. Crazy, absolutely crazy. Later. Well that's it, Paramit 2024 in the south is completed, done. We just had the final Q and A session. I'd say successful mission. That was awesome. What a great weekend, great guests, great speakers, great hosts, great meeting people that I'd known on Facebook, like always, you know, you, you know them online, but you don't know them in person. So that is what this weekend was about. Meeting new people, meeting friends, and getting to make new friends. So yeah, I've now got two hours and 10 minutes. Which way am I going? Am I going back through M4, Oxford, 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 M4, perfect, a Monday. Right guys, I've got my goodies. Did you see what I bought? Did I show you this? I'm not sure. I've got this lovely picture. I probably did show you, I don't know. And my Paramete t-shirt. And Neil's book and the Romanian Transylvanian cross. That's awesome, that's awesome. But yeah, I think I've got everything. I am off. Thank you so much for watching. Guys, comment below. Would you ever go to one of these meetups? Do you think they're important? The past life regression, have you done that? Would you do that? It's quite a scary thing to get in your head beforehand. Am I gonna come back? Am I, you know, what my experience is going to be from the past that's a big rabbit hole but anyway thanks for watching guys like the video subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys in the next video see you later <laughs>